So, you're ready to start from the beginning. I think you'll find Audacity to be a fun and very user-friendly piece of software. Before we begin, you'll need to connect a microphone to the computer in order to record. We'll be using USB microphones in the classes at HMS. You can also use any microphone with a standard 3.5 millimeter microphone jack. Plug your microphone in now before starting Audacity. If you're using USB microphone, you can plug it into any of the computer's available USB ports. Open the Windows Start menu and under All Programs select Audacity. The main Audacity window includes a lot of features you're probably familiar with. First on the top is a series of menus such as File, Edit, and View which are common in most Windows programs. Just below that is a series of playback buttons, which we will use in the creation of our recording. Before we begin recording, let's make sure our microphone and playback are set up correctly. To do this, make sure your microphone was already connected to the computer before you started Audacity. Click on Edit, and then Preferences. In the Preferences window, there are a lot of options, and it can get a bit overwhelming. We're only focusing on basic microphone and playback settings today. On the right side of the window, under Recording, make sure your selected device is the USB microphone. You can do that by simply clicking on the drop-down arrow and making sure the USB microphone is selected. Next, let's make sure playback settings are correct. Under Playback, make sure your computer's main speakers are selected for playback. The name for this setting will vary from computer to computer. Finally, set your selections for how you want your tracks to play back. If you want to hear your track as you record it, click the box next to Software Playthrough. I would not recommend checking this box as there's usually a delay between what you record and what you hear making it difficult to concentrate. I would recommend checking the box next to play other tracks while recording a new one. This enables you to hear what you have already recorded as you record a second or third track. Once your settings are how you want them to be, click on OK. We are now ready to begin recording for the USB microphones we will use in class, you'll want to hold them about 10 to 12 inches away from your mouth as you speak. Be sure that you are not shouting, but speak loud and clear so the microphone can pick you up accurately. To begin recording, click on the red circle in the playback controls. As soon as you click record, whatever is picked up by your microphone will start recording, so wait until you're ready. While recording, you will see your recording displayed on the screen in front of you. If you need to adjust your microphone volume, you can do this in two ways. First, you can either bring the microphone a little closer to you or further away from you. The second is to adjust the microphone recording level. This is on the top of the window next to the microphone logo. Audacity usually defaults to full volume, so this will typically be used to decrease the volume of your microphone. Okay, let's record a sample. This is a test sentence, so we can see what it looks like when recording in Audacity. We can watch our recording in two places, the meter at the top of the screen showing left and right volumes, and also the sound waves being built in the center of the screen following us as we record our track. When you're done recording, you click the stop button, which is the square on the playback controls. Your recording is now ready for editing. Now that we've gone through a little introduction and setup of Audacity, decide where you'd like to go next. If you want to continue in order, select level 2 to learn basic effects and editing or you can select one of the other levels you'd like to explore. If you're done for today, click on the finale on how to save and close out your project. Go ahead and make your selection now.